So the next thing we're going to look at is Irish dance dresses. Originally, people would just wear their Sunday best when going to perform or when just going to the regular dance class. If you're practicing with your teacher, for the most part, you're just wearing sweats, shorts, leggings, a t-shirt or a tank top is usually what you would wear. But when you're getting into competition and performances, it's a little bit more elaborate. For competitions, usually dancers wear solo dresses or a school dress, which is provided by your teacher and usually chosen as well. The price of dresses has also skyrocketed. It can go from $1,000 to $3,000. Some dancers who are not currently living in Ireland choose to have their dresses come from Ireland, which you can imagine the cost of shipping and handling and just the dress making itself. So when you're competing, always remember to bring your trusty wig. Um, I personally have had one for the past maybe seven years. Originally it used to take me about three hours to curl my hair and then about an hour to take it out. So you can imagine how much time that took, not for me, but for my mom. So wigs usually cost uh, anywhere from $100 to $200, but the time that you save from curling your hair is incredible and worth it. And the reason that we curl our hair is just, it's a tradition in Ireland. Girls always had nice ringlets, so we just kept that going and in competitions, it's very, very possible that you'll see almost every dancer with a wig, unless of course you're talking about the younger girls.